Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm going to answer question number four from the May June 2022 uh, Cambridge 9709 paper four variant two, which is the mechanics paper. And this question here we have a particle A moving along a straight horizontal track with constant speed eight meters per second passes a fixed point O. <clears throat> four seconds later, another particle B passes O moving along a parallel track in the same direction as A. Particle B has a speed of 20 meters per second. So you've got this track. Let me draw it with a bit of a thicker line there. You have a track and you have a parallel track. Just say this is a parallel track. Okay. And you have the point O, which is at the same level on both tracks. Okay. So let's say this is the point O here. Okay. So this is the level O, this is the point O. Now, what's happening? A is going along this track and B is going along this track. So A is starting um, first. Okay. Um, so it says, particle A moving along a straight track, constant speed. So A is going at a constant speed. Speed is A meters per second. There is no acceleration. Acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, uh, it's just going to get constant speed along this track. And B is starting four seconds later. Okay, so B is starting four seconds later. And when it's passing O, it has a speed of 20 meters per second, but it's decelerating. So its acceleration is going to be negative two meters per second squared. All right, so it's going to actually get slower and slower and slower and slower. It's going to come to instantaneous rest and it's going to come back again. That's why it's going to return to O. It says it comes to rest when it returns to O. Maybe, um, maybe it just stops when it comes to O. It will stop. Uh, it doesn't undergo the same acceleration anymore. It just the acceleration stops. Maybe I don't know because if it was going under this constant acceleration until it returns to O, it will be going at this speed, 20 meters per second, just before it reaches B. Okay, so maybe it just there's something there that stops it at, at, at O. Okay, because otherwise that doesn't make sense. Anyways, find expressions in terms of t for the displacement from O of each particle t seconds after B passes O. Okay, so now, so when B passes O, okay, um, A has already been going for four seconds. So let's say that when B passes O, the time is t. When A passes O, the time is t plus four. Okay, so this is when t equals zero, this is going to be t plus four. So whatever t is in this, in the formula for B, for A, it's going to be four seconds longer because A has been going four seconds longer than O, than, 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 than B. Okay, so when B starts, when B passes um, O, T is already, A is already, you know, gone, gone for, four, for four seconds. All right. So what we can say here now is, because uh, we want the T's to be um, the same, expressions in terms of T. Okay, so now what we can say is for A, it's pretty simple. It's going at a constant speed. Yeah, and we know that um, the displacement is equal to the uh, distance, the sp sorry, the speed times the time. Displacement is equal to speed times the time. You can think of it as S equals U plus V over two times T. So, you know, it's the average speed times the time. So we can say that it's going to be eight times, um, time is T plus four here. Okay, so you can say S for A, is eight times t plus four. Okay, so but for example, um, when b started, it's already a has already moved thirty-two meters. Why? Because when time is zero, a has already started moving, right? Because b started four seconds after a, so a a has already ha had had uh, four seconds in motion, right? So this is the expression for a. Very simple. Why? Because it's going at a constant speed. For B, however, we're going to use SUVAT to try and decide what to do for B. So we have SUVAT, we have SB, we have U, which is 20. We have uh, V, which um, we don't know. It depends on the, where we are. So we're going to do it in terms of T here. And A, which is going to be minus 2. And T, which we're going to have to express in terms of. So we, we have S, U, A, and T. So we can say S equals u t plus a half a t squared so we want s b equals u which is 20 times t 
plus a half times minus 2 times t squared. So for b, it will be sb equals 20t minus t squared. So that is the equation for b, and that is the equation for a. Okay, expressions in terms of t for the displacement from O of each particle t seconds after b passes O. Okay, so when b passes O, all right, that's when t is 0. So that's going to be, you know, 0. When b passes O, a has already gone for 4 seconds. So that's going to be 8 times 4, which is 32. So that's why that has to say t plus 4. All right, so there's your answer to part A. So S a is 8 times t plus 4, and sb is 20t minus t squared. Now for part B, it says find the values of T when the particles are the same distance from O. So we know that SA was um, 8 times T plus 4. And SB was a half. What was it? I forgot now already. UT, it was a 20T minus T squared. 20T minus T squared. Sorry about that. So that was 20T minus T squared. So SB is 20T minus T squared. So that's the displacement of the particle from um, A, uh, from O at T seconds, and that's the part displacement of particle B from O after T seconds. So we want to know when S A and S B are the same, when they have the same displacement from O. So I have to just say that's when 8 times T plus 4 is equal to 20T minus T squared. So I've got a quadratic equation here which I can solve. I can add, I can, um, add T squared to both sides, subtract 20T from both sides, multiply this bracket out 8 times t is 8t 8 times 4 is 32 equals 0 and i can simplify this t squared minus 12t plus 32 equals 0 i can solve this i'll have two two brackets here both of them has a minus sign in the bracket um uh, 32 4 8 4 times 8 is 32 so t minus 4 and t minus 8 equals 0 so we can say t equals 4 seconds and t equals 8 seconds now one thing that's really important that you'll notice in the math schemes, they mention very clearly, don't just write the answers from this to this. You have to show that you factorized, use a formula or, co or complete the square when you're solving quadratic equations. You must show the step of factorizing or doing one of the other things to get the method marks for this. So t equals 4 and t equals 8 seconds when the particles will be the same distance away from O. All right, that's part B done. There's a part C as well, yes. It says on the given axes, sketch the displacement time graphs for both particles for values of t from o from 0 to 20 seconds so you have s equals 8t plus 32 and you have that's for a and for b you have sb equals 20t minus t squared so this is a linear graph and this is a quadratic graph okay now the quadratic graph you can see that when it's going to hit zero when t if you if you factorize this it's displacement from um, this displacement uh, from um, O is going to be 0 when, if you factorize this, you'll have T times 20 minus T equals 0. So when T equals 0 and T equals 20, it's going to go back to its original place. Okay, so it's going to be a parabola. It's going to be like, it's going to have a, a, a frowny face because it's a quadratic with a frowny face here. And we can see that its maximum is going to be at 10. Okay, so let's see what it's going to be when SB, when um, time equals 10, is going to be 20 times 10, which is 200, minus 10 squared, which is 100. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, 20 times 10, which, 20 times 10, so it's going to be 200 minus 10 squared, which is 100. So it's going to be 100. So at 10, it's going to reach the highest speed of 100. Okay, so that's, it's going to be something like this. It's going to have a, it's a parabola reaching its highest speed of, so it's higher, it's not speed, it's highest distance, okay? The greatest distance is going to be at 100, at which point it's going to be going at zero, velocity of zero, okay? Because it's going to be turning back. Then it's going to go in the opposite direction and come back again, right? So this is when it's going away from O, this is when it's coming back to O, okay? It reaches its zero speed here, all right? That's where it's going to instantaneous rest. Okay, that's why the gradient of this would be zero, all right, because this is the displacement time graph. The gradient of the displacement time graph tells you the velocity. That's where the velocity will be zero. That's at the point 110, okay? And this is going to just be a straight line graph. However, when t equals zero, 
the displacement of A is going to be 32. As we said, it's, it's got a head start. It's already started when B reached oh, by, uh, by eight seconds, as we, uh, four seconds, sorry. So four times eight is 32. So it's going to be somewhere over here, it's going to start. And we know that at four seconds, and that at eight seconds, they're going to be the same displacement away from um, the origin. So T and four and eight, they're, gonna, they're going to intersect. All right, so I'm going to draw a line going through 32. Now let me draw it like this, something like this. Okay, it has to... And where's it going to reach to eventually when t, when t is equal to 20? You're going to have SA is going to be 8 times 20 plus 32, 192. So it's going to be less than 200. So it's going to be something like this. It's going to be a graph that looks something like this. Okay. Uh, when it gets to 20 seconds, or 20 seconds, it has reached 190. So at this point, it's going to be 1, uh, this is going to be 20 and 192. This is going to be 4 seconds here. Okay, this is going to be 8 seconds. It's, it's not really to scale because it's difficult to do it to scale. But basically, you're going to have this situation here. This is going to be 4 seconds where they intersect. The intercept again at eight seconds. That's going to be eight seconds. Let me just move the eight along. All right. So that's four. So that's where they're going to be at the same distance away from, um, the same displacement away from the origin O. Okay. And um, this is going to reach twenty one nine two. This is going to reach uh, ten one hundred. So that's the graph. This is for A, and this is for B. This is going to be a parabola, straight line, intersect at these points, okay? And that's how, I think that's enough for us there. That's fine, okay? So that completes this question, I think. Yep. Okay, so it's not too difficult, this question. It's quite straightforward. So um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be linked over here. Other questions from this um, topic of, I guess this is kinematics, and a constant acceleration, okay, um, you can find the playlist for those here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.